Welcome to the madhouse. <laughs> It's time to get your fucking horror on, live from their dumpy little studio in beautiful Norwalk, California. It's the Mindless Horror Podcast with Sammy and Anthony. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode of the Mindless Horror Podcast. It is, uh, we're, we're doing a new thing right now for all the people who are in quarantine, just to kind of give you content to enjoy and 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 really listen to and just have high hopes, man, and that's that's what this episode brings today. We have another very special guest on the show today. Uh, this is Lauren. Now, you may know her work um, famously in Origins, The Curse of yeah. Calico. It's a, it was a great maze, one of our favorites, but specifically, she is uh, most notice, notable in that maze because she is Sarah Marshall, but the one that is flying around the room and having a fun, grand old time. Yeah, yeah it's really cool. That's awesome. Um, so let's just jump right into it. How long have you been uh, scare acting for? Um, since 2016. Um, so I guess like four years now. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. yeah. Nice, nice. Four years and awesome. You get to open up uh, Origins this past season, which was really cool, I bet. Yeah, it was really awesome. Like, um, just like working there and everything, like. I don't know, like, uh, I have, like, a lot of stories for it and everything, like, um, I don't know, it's just, like, uh, I don't know, I don't know how to describe <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, did, were you always at Knott's since 2016, or did you start somewhere else? Um, I've always been at Knott's, um, I started, like, in 2016, but I've been a guest going since I was in, like, middle school or so, nice. so, sure. yeah, and I've always, like, liked the like, um, not Scary Farm, like, a lot, like, um, since I was a kid, because, like, all the mazes are so creative, like, I don't know what maze, like, one of the first mazes that, like, I went to, like, was, like, a candy theme, like, or something, like, forest theme maze, I don't know which one it was, but it was so creative, and I was, like, oh, I'd, like, I thought, like, I was a kid, like, oh, it's so cool, like, and then when I was older, like, I had some friends that worked at Scary Farm, so I was, like, I was like, oh, maybe I could do that. And my friends, like, I like, I kind of like got involved in it later on, and it's pretty cool. I I like it a lot. That's <laughs> awesome. And I, honestly, yeah. it, I mean, it's good this year. You got to be a big part of like the lore and and everything with Not Scary Farm going into uh, the 2019 season. Of course, being the role of Sarah Marshall. How was that? Uh, you know, getting that role. I mean, I bet I bet a lot of people probably after that role, especially with you know this whole new kind of story going around, centered around Ghost Town. Of course, it took over Ghost Town. You know, you got the maze, and then you had the, of course, uh, hanging show, all one story. How was – was that kind of a challenge to get that role? Um, actually, I had no idea about the role. Like, what I originally – like, I don't know how much I could go into detail with knots. Um, I'm not really sure, but, like, they uh, – I actually tried out for – I think it was, like, Streets or just to try a new character – and so I tried out for that, and then I was coming back, like, to get my character, like, the new character. So I was like, oh, I don't know which character I'll get. And then um, they told my um, talent captain told me, like, hey, we have this new role. Like, it's a witch, and it's, like, it's on, like, a harness and everything, like, flying. And I was like, oh, like, I was like, like, I never did a harness position before, like, a zip line. And so, like... I was like, uh, and then they told me, like, it's a bit, like, we really want you to be in this role. Like, I didn't know, like, what the reason they picked me for. Like, maybe, like, maybe it was my audition, because I, like, was kind of, like, silly in my audition, or, or like, kind of, like, kind of, like, I felt like maybe I was kind of, like, a witch, but I don't know the reason why they picked me, maybe. Like, but they were like, we really want you for this role. I was like, oh, okay, I could try a new position. Like, I never did a zip line uh, before, so I could try it out and everything. And so then, yeah, like, and then I didn't know, like, originally I didn't know it was, like, uh, like, I didn't know anything. I don't think anyone, like, maybe some people knew. But, like, yeah, I'd, like, when we, I went, yeah, they gave me the roles. Like, they're, I, I think they, I can't remember if they did tell me. I think they did, he did tell me 
that it would be like the big like about ghost town and stuff when I got the position. So I was like, yeah, I'll do it. Like I want to <laughs> be like the big like badass lady, like a witch of like Calico. Like I thought that was really cool. And um, yeah, so then I got the role and I didn't re- like. I was like, it was like pretty like. Um, how do you say it? like I, it was like a lot of pressure actually like I was like oh man like I'm like the the like main character of like like kind of like the whole story yeah. so yeah I was like pretty intimidating but it was really cool like um, I was happy like to be her definitely I mean you guys knocked it out of the park every night with that maze I mean me and Sammy would try to go through that like every chance we got uh, that'd be like one of the first mazes we would hit uh, every time we went to the event and I remember the first time we actually went through that maze, me and him were just psyched to see, uh, like, the whole origin of the Sarah Marshall Green Witch thing. I mean, that was really, really cool because I remember telling him, like, going into this, I was like, I really hope that Sarah Marshall is the Green Witch and that's going to get revealed at the event. And sure enough, you go through the maze, like, the very end, you start seeing her transform into the Green Witch. And, of course, yeah. there you are flying across the room. And <laughs> I thought that was probably, like, one of the most memorable scenes in, of course, the entire maze, which would probably be, like, the money shot area of the maze, which really – captured like the the biggest moment of the the whole reveal and everything which i thought was really cool um yeah what was it like for you swinging around every night and stuff how how fun Uh, was that it was like fun it was like a like the biggest like workout i've ever had like one of the biggest workouts like felt like at the end i was like getting abs (laughs) like like yeah like just jumping like i try like to like like just like swing like swinging around like I try like really hard to like get as many guests as I could like to swing around um and yeah it was just like it was really it was really fun because I feel like uh I got the hang of it um like well just like doing the movements and then like doing the lines too like um yeah like I guess it was just really fun like I actually didn't know the lines coming into it but I would just hear it and um like, I, I actually memorized the lines, like, um, as I was going through it, like, I was trying to, like, uh, I don't know, like, being on there, too, like, the guests, I uh, feel like sometimes, like, they couldn't see me up there, which is weird, because, like, I was, like, right up there. Yeah. So, I'd actually, like, say the words and shout it at them, like, with my actual voice, because I felt like they could hear me better. And Definitely. Yeah, and sometimes they would, like, they'd either see me only and not, like, uh, Mike or, like, or the ghoul down there, or yeah. they would see just, like, it would switch between, like, just seeing him or just seeing me. So I would try to shout, like, hey, I'm, I'm like, here, too. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know. yeah. yeah, definitely. Uh, take us through your first time flying. How was that? Um, my first time flying was actually when um we had our like our walkthrough for the other mazes to go through so it like we we're just like um doing it for like all the other mazes and to like i kind of like a rehearsal night and, but like that was the first time i was in costume but i did it before like just practice and um it was like that practice was like kind of um it was nerve-wracking it's like oh man i how, can i get this down like that's what i was thinking in my head and then, like, when the the actual, like, night where we just came dressed, uh, like, I feel like I got the hang of it more. And then when the actual, like, night hit, like, it was, like, it was, like, the first night was, like, it's pretty intense. Like, yeah. I, like, because the camera crews come in and everyone comes in, everyone's looking at you. But, like, I, like, I'm pretty, like, shy person. But, like, when I go on, like, I turn into my character like i feel like i just like become that character like i like lose that shyness i'm like oh whatever like i'm trying to be sarah marshall so yeah the first night it was like pretty like intense but the first time i went through i was like oh I, we didn't have like i we didn't have the audio yet but like it was um it was cool though like i was just like trying to be a, like a witch and stuff but then when the audio came then like, oh, this is so fun. Like, I, I was trying to memorize the lines and everything and, like, do, like, the stuff, like, with the cape and whatnot. <laughs> yeah, it was, yeah. like, yeah, it was cool. <laughs> that sounds like an amazing time. I mean, I, I like I said, I remember us walking through that, that opening night and just being blown away by that scene. Because um, I don't I think I ever... I get it stuck with the hand. 
that's yeah, yeah that's especially scary. with the hand yeah. and everything. I mean, yeah. yeah, it's pretty cool. The hand. Yeah, <laughs> I, I think I think me and Sammy in general are just blown away with that maze. I mean, we haven't seen anything as well detailed or very story driven to connect to the lore of everything. Uh, and, and I think it really just was one of those mazes where it's like that first walkthrough will always have a big memory impact on us. You know what I mean? Because like I remember like me and him going through it and we were just like literally just looking at everything, just mesmerized by the entire thing. And of course, when we yeah. get to your room, it's like, you know, I, I had not ever seen anything really like something like that where yeah. you have someone kind of <laughs> flying around. And so I think it makes for a great scare tactic, of course, as as far as like. You know, you're floating around and everything while you have that person down there that's going for the scare. And so it's a very good teamwork kind of effort. And I think what's really cool is it's it's just like mesmerizing to just see, you know, the witch flying around. You know, that's just like something that's been part of the lore of, of Haunt for so long and to finally yeah. see it come to life. Yeah, it was so cool. Like, um, yeah, it was just really fun being that character. And like, I, I feel like we got like a lot of support too from like people at Knots in general. Yeah. Like, um, the other, like, uh, ghost town ghouls, like, when I'd go, like, on my breaks, I'd see, like, Gecko and Otis when I was in my, as a Sarah Marshall, and they'd see, like, witch, witch, and, like, I'd be, like, like, I'd be kind of, like, exhausted, but I'd say hi, like, it's, like, it's me, but it was, it's cool, and, cool. yeah, like, it's a crazy role, like, how, like, finally, like, the witch, uh, like, has, like, the whole hanging show, yeah. like, like I think the lines are actually like um that I, like that are said up there with Sarah Marshall like are the lines of the hanging I found out recently like um but yeah it's just crazy like it ties in everything together and actually like some people like in the other mazes like they're like I don't know it's not like canon or or any like or it's not like um part of the story but we we're saying like like, I would see someone from Dark Entities, um, like, they'd say, oh, because of your curse, now I'm in space. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. It was, That's like, hilarious. funny. <laughs> yeah. And, um, yeah, and it was just crazy, like, just being Sarah Marshall is, like, really cool. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I think that's really cool when, now that I'm thinking about it, like, you just brought it up like that's a good way to really tie everything if they really want to like all the mazes you go through like dark entities it's the reason why they're trapped in space and there's aliens because of a curse that happened and then yeah. like if you want to go to paranormal ink you know the reason why that place is haunted is because of a curse you know it's yeah. just like if you really wanted to just go that extra distance and just kind of tie it in that'd be something yeah. fun um so talk to us about some of your favorite memories you had last season playing sarah marshall um well like there's like um like a lot like just like seeing people's reactions like I, I, well there's a funny reaction like a guest had when he was going through the maze he like did like a Dragon Ball Z like 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 a Goku thing at me like, oh, like, at me, like <laughs> and um yeah just like there's some other get like some of the reactions are really funny. Like, that one was, like, the funniest one of the reaction. Um, but, like, I guess, like, it was just fun. Like, I, I can't remember all the guests because there's so many or, like, all the memories. But, like, I think it was cool, like, how, like, everyone was, like, like, just, like, seeing, like, the same guests coming in. Like, I'd see, like, the same, like, guests, like, come in every day. Just seeing their reactions every day, like, yeah. or, like, people being so excited and like uh, sometimes like um the guests would stop because they're just so like odd at like how amazing it is like just yeah. like the whole setup and everything and i tr like yeah and i i did like how like the like people of ghost town were like the ghost town scare actors um, and people like in general like i remember like um i think his name is i can't remember his name but he's the bull from oh ghost bovine town. yeah yeah. He um said he actually I I was on break but I heard that he um went in our break area and he was like talk like talking to all like the people of uh, Origins the maze and it, like everyone's like oh like he was like giving us a lot of support and like everyone I feel like and what else I'm just trying to remember everything he oh he actually told me that like the original Sarah Marshall which was. Um, I forgot, I don't know what her name is, but she's the one in the show, like, where they showed the preview. 
Yeah. Um, she said that she went through the maze and she was like blown away, like how like awesome it was, and like she saw like either me or the other uh, Sarah Marshalls, yeah. and um, she was just like blown away. It was just like cool hearing like all the support from everyone, and um, yeah, just and then just seeing like also like the like there's like some like those celebrities that always like come through. Like I think um. BuzzFeed, um, they came through. Like they didn't go through my set, but like it was cool. Like wow, it's awesome. And yeah, I think some other like YouTubers, like I've been seeing like for a while, like went through. Like I think the Wu, he goes like every year to Scary Farm, but I saw him go through. And then seeing the videos, um, but yeah, it's just like awesome. Like there's so many guests going through. Like I just had like fun just seeing everyone's reaction and everything. Yeah, no, that must be cool. I mean. And that, and that's really cool that you said. Um, I, I I know you're talking about the actress who portrayed Sarah Marshall in the promo video. That's awesome. That like she gave you some good feedback, like love in the maze and stuff. I mean that that's like really cool to see that. You know, I mean that yeah. she's going to the event and yeah. you know checking it out. Yeah, I think she plays like I think she plays the um, the actual sister um, after she did like the um, the whole like um, playing like the witch uh, like for the promos. She now, like during Scary Farm, she was like this, like the sister. So it's still like it's still cool. That's awesome. Like, tied in. Like, really cool. The sister in the hanging, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's really cool. Really cool. Awesome. No, that's awesome that you get to see a lot of people's reactions and then um, talk to the bull, a uh, good friend of ours, Thrash. Um, that's really cool. I mean, Thrash is an all out nice person, and uh, he's always. Uh, willing to give you his knowledge on on haunt history and stuff. The guy's been doing it for some time now, so very uh, very nice guy. Always a good kind of mentor to look to as well. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's really cool that he went out to you and and you know was just kind of showing his support. That's really awesome of him. Um, so what are, what are some of your funniest stories working the event? Oh, um, hmm, I actually I guess the funniest story was like. The guy doing the, like, Goku thing. The Goku. And, yeah, and there were some other ones, too. Like, just, like, um, I don't know, just people's reactions. Like, I'm trying to remember what they'd say. Well, like, they, they would, like, the guests would get, like, really riled up and say, hang that witch. Like, they'd say it all <laughs> the time to me. Because, <laughs> like, the, um, the, like, they would say it in the front, like, hang the witch. And so they'd yeah. say it to me. I think there are some funny reactions, like, I just can't remember also like it's just so many people but like I don't know there's some funny ones I know that they like the guests are really funny like when they go through it it's like hard not to laugh at yeah. like what they say um but yeah like I think that was like one reaction it was like these guests flipped me off I was like <laughs> oh, oh, oh no like a group of kids but it was just like I thought it was kind of funny it's like I, at least I could like still be like angry like I could still be Sarah Marshall. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Did you ever try to do any tricks on like the zip line? I don't know if you'd be able to like do like a 360 or something. Did you um, jump from platform to platform? Uh, like sometimes, like, uh, well, not really. I just like I try, like, I get like I did it before on accident, like spinning around, but like it's not you can't you're not supposed to do that, but it's like an accident. But like it's like best, like I guess like. When you're on the zip line, try like to not to. I feel like because you, like you, there's a chance you could get stuck, and someone has to like like move you back. <laughs> um, <laughs> but like uh, no, I wouldn't. I guess I wouldn't do any like tricks. But I would just. But jumping around was fun though. Like from yeah. platform to platform. <laughs> That's awesome. Did, did you ever get stuck? Um no 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 I I kind of did, but then I like kind of swung my way back. But it is scary if like like getting stuck. Like I think <laughs> I did get stuck the first time, like when I was in rehearsal. I mean, like like I did get, but I was able to get back. But it's still like it's a scary feeling. Like that was another thing when I was in the rehearsal. Like like just being up there. Like it's kind of it is high up. So like getting over that fear, like the heights. Like it was. Uh, I I think I got over it though. It was fun though. Yeah, definitely. If you have a fear for heights, that's. I don't think that's the one that you should go for, but if you yeah. want to conquer that fear, go for it. Yeah. yeah. Um, 
So one of the questions we always like to ask characters too is, uh, there's so many other haunts out there, so many other great haunts as well. Um, if you can work any other haunt for a, a night or even a season, you know, what haunt would that be and why? Um, I think it'd be the Queen Mary. Um, I, I like I love I, I love Queen Mary so much, like Dark Harbor. Like um, it's like pretty it, like had I lived closer, I probably like possibly could have worked there. Um, it's like I love the like details of Dark Harbor. It's like always like so cool. Like the mazes are really like beautiful, and I like how the characters are too. Like they have some like freedoms. Like I think like. I'm not sure completely, but I think you could like you could like say what you want. Like you could talk to the guests. Yeah. Um, you could do that in Scary Farm too. But like I like the like the create like some of the characters they have like the clowns like the makeup and everything. But I always like the I like Dark Harbor a lot because it's so unique and like it's also haunted too. <laughs> so it adds <laughs> to the like the scariness of it. <laughs> nice. Are you a fan of the paranormal? Oh uh, yeah, I am. Um, yeah, I th I think it's pretty cool, like the ghosts and stuff. Like yeah, they like I don't know. Like some people would say like not scary farm is haunted. Um, some mazes or something. It's really old. I don't know. I'm 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 no ghost hunter. I I leave that for <laughs> other like Buzzfeed or something. <laughs> Zach Bagans. There you yeah. go, Zach. The next Zach Bagans right there. Yeah. Um, so you mentioned you you started uh, not scary farm at the uh, in 2016. Talk to us a little bit about um, some past stuff that you did at the event uh, and and just um, leading up to Sarah Marshall. Um. So my first year, I was in Tooth Fairy as one of the twins, the awesome. dead like twins that got taken um, from the Tooth Fairy. So that was like one of my favorite roles because like it was all, like also my first year like I hear that like your first year is like usually your funnest years some people say um but yeah it was just like so fun like I'm like the like screaming for help like every day and like it was just fun like doing the scares in that role like being like scared and like I don't know you have like a lot of freedom and like not scary farm I feel like like you could interpret like the character and like the way you want to yeah so like i like in like when i was in that role like i'd also i would like scream for help like help me help me like the guests and like go like really like <laughs> <laughs> get really like scared yeah <laughs> um but yeah the guest like sometimes the guests would come through and i would like i'd like play around with the scares like i'd like do like a like la 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 and then when they come over i would, like really like scare them like nice like, and they get like super scared but yeah that was like like i was hidden in that like room i was like kind of like where when you walk through like there's the furry room where it's like completely pitch black and then you go through my room and it's like spook like has like this fence and stuff yeah but yeah that role was so fun like just scaring people i'd get like a lot of good scares just like being so hidden right there and like that little small like a fence cage thing <laughs> <laughs> yeah but that was fun, and, like, I really liked that role. And I was, like, a zombie, like, with my teeth ripped off. Oh, nice. So, yeah, and, yeah, that was one of my roles. Like, I really liked that character. And then the next year, I was a succubus in Shadowlands. And nice. uh, that was, yeah, it was, like, fun. Like, I could, like, I was using my fan in that role, and I was, like, um, like kind of, like, luring, the, like, the guests in, like, kind of, like, being flirtatious and stuff. And, um, but yeah, I'd like you, like scare them, like get in their face. Like I get good, like, it was just fun in that role too. And again, like, like that role is like hard not to laugh at what the comments, the guests say, <laughs> <laughs> but I also like did laugh, like, cause I did it with my character, like made yeah. it like creepy and stuff. And yeah, and that was my second year. And then my third year I was in a mermaid in the depths. Nice. And, yeah, that role was really. I honestly, all my roles were so fun and scary farm. <laughs> That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. You've been a part of some awesome mazes, really. I mean, Tooth Fairy. I, I do remember Tooth Fairy being really like a a cringy maze for me, especially with the like the noise of the drill and everything. Like, I think that was, uh, a, yeah. it was such a memorable maze for me. And um, Shadowlands. I mean, it being its final year last year, that's really cool that you got to take part uh, to be a part of that crew for one year. Um, and of course. The Depths, one of my favorites at, at the event, too. 
um, which is really awesome that you got to take part in that. Um, looks like you have a really solid history of just, you know, the, the, these a lot of these amazing maze roles, too. I mean, that's really awesome that you've gotten to take part in a lot of these iconic mazes, which has been really cool. Yeah, it's uh, really cool. Like, the amount of detail for each maze. Like, um, like, I was able to, like, go through a maze from, like, from my talent captain, I asked, like, um, like, I went through, like, just origins, like, when I was on there, like, I, like, I was just in my room, but then when I went through a maze, like, seeing all the details and seeing, like, all the, like, the curse going to effect and everything, like, seeing Sarah Marshall and things like that, it's just, like, like, it was way different, like, from, like, dress rehearsal, like, it, like, it was, like, uh, I don't know, like, it's, like I was like a, like amazed how like create like because um before like some of the lights weren't on in all the rooms and so like going through it again it was like wow this is like awesome <laughs> like just going through all the details like the catawampus the mirrors the like the little Easter egg stuff in there like it just it was really cool and like even the other mazes too like I wasn't able to go in like Tooth Fairy when I worked there. But, like, seeing, like, just YouTube videos of everything, like, seeing all the mazes, like, I, like, I, I just love all the detail Nats does. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do, you have a, do you have a favorite maze from um, either? In yeah, the past or? Yeah. Um, I actually don't. I like all the mazes, like, like every single one. Um, but I, I do, like, uh, I don't know, honestly. I did, like, Delirium a lot, like, if uh like that one like looked really cool like the nightmares and like dream world and stuff like that okay. like yeah that one's like re i i like that one and then like doll factory and then like forevermore those are like one of like the like i'd say i don't have an exact favorite but i did like those a lot and i yeah. did like of course my mazes so much too like yeah, Tooth Fairy, shadow <laughs> like depths like i did like the depths too because of the the lighthouse and like going through like the whole like mines it's, yeah. it's just yeah. really cool yeah awesome um do you have any advice do you want to give to future scare actors who want to just give this a shot one of these days um yeah i guess um if you do, like i'd say if you want to like try just do it like if just like get out there like it's really fun like um just to be just um just acting being someone new like i'm I get like pretty shy, like in like me, like right, like. Um, but when you like turn into character, like you're just like it's so like um, kind of like therapeutic, because you get like a lot of stress out or just like anything, like you could get it out. <laughs> and I don't know. I just say um, be safe. Also, like watch out for guests. Like, don't get close to anyone's face. Like, at least stay like at least a lot arms length away and like scare safely like try not to like don't break anything for like or so and also just have fun stay hydrated is number one definitely <laughs> hydrated yeah. yeah what uh what was i gonna say oh what were some of your uh rituals or some of your um things that you would do every night to prepare to be in character would you listen to some music read a book sit in silence what are some of your things that you would do well like for me, like, um, I would, like, actually hang out with my friends, and um, we talk about, like, the, like, scaring the night before, like, we'd say stories about, like, and bouncing off, like, scare ideas with each other. Definitely. Um, yeah, so that would, like, get me pumped up, like, um, like, one of my friends, like, from, like, Tooth Fairy, like, like, and then, uh, like, he'd tell me, like, stuff he'd do in his current me, so we'd just, like, bounce off each other, and then, like, all, like, all my friends. And then just, like, what gets me prepared um, is, like, stretching, but also just putting on my cl character clothes, like, mm -hmm. that's starting to, like, get in the character, and then, like, just stretching, and then getting into the maze, like, when I open up the maze, like, I have, like, they have A-cast and B-cast. Yeah. A-cast, like, is the start, like, you open the start of the maze. Yeah. And then B-cast, you go in later to, like, change the actors, but, um... When I'm a cast, like, um, just hearing the music and like waiting for the guests to come, like, just pumps me up. Like, gets me like just waiting for them. <laughs> just gets no, me definitely. 
yeah get you going yeah and just walking and seeing the guests too like yeah. that would just get me going too yeah that's awesome uh, I, I think it's really cool you got to take part in such an iconic role at a, at a new maze i mean that's really awesome and i would say this would probably be maybe the best maze of 2019 in my opinion for for not scary farm um, yeah it was just such a detailed maze and, and such uh, a, an amazing experience to really get to know and uh, further the knowledge of the lore of, you know, not only Ghost Town, but of course Sarah Marshall and, and other characters that have been in Ghost Town for so long. So that was really cool to see. And I, I really did enjoy each and um, everyone that was in the maze who, who helped bring it to life. That was just an experience, like I say, that I will never forget going through opening night um really put me into that story of ghost town you guys all did a, an amazing job and uh i can't wait to go back hopefully this year uh if everything goes smooth sailing with the whole uh you know the whole virus and everything i'm hoping everything goes smooth sailing yeah hopefully so and i feel like if it does like if not or like i hope they will i hope everything comes back to normal by then but yeah. if not like i know like there will like will be people coming back for 2021 like yeah, i know i'll definitely, definitely be back <laughs> i think too and you bring up a good point i think that if it for some reason if it doesn't happen this year that's going to really not only motivate you know the fans and everything to come back but it's going to motivate you guys as scare actors to really you know just bring in 150 percent because you guys didn't get to you know do that you know for 2020 so that's going to bring you guys back even stronger and and wanting to do it even more for 2021 which i think would be even better um if it does not happen this year just for the sole purpose of like seeing everybody like having that fever of wanting to do it again it would yeah. just like honestly you have an amazing environment for the entire event but fingers crossed that it does happen this year uh, we, we yeah. do know that construction <laughs> is we do know that construction is live right now at not so that's really good seeing that they're still building the mazes and and still just you know getting everything ready for the event um so that's really good yeah uh, it gives me hope <laughs> yeah <laughs> right that's awesome i mean just to see stuff like that especially with uh you know shadowlands leaving this last year that's been the main construction we've been seeing for the new maze that's so, uh, gonna be set to go there very exciting can't wait um one of the last questions we always ask our guests um on the show and it's usually the hardest one so you, maybe you have to really think about this one. Oh, okay. <laughs> What's your favorite horror movie? Um, I, I don't have a favorite, but one of my top ones is like Dracula, Frankenstein. Okay. Like Creature of the Black Lagoon. Nice. I, I, I like, yeah, I like the Universal like monsters a lot. I'd say also Shining. Like nice. I love, yeah, I, um, yeah, I like I'd say it's. Yeah, probably those three classic cards are like my top favorites. <laughs> awesome, old school. I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah. Frankenstein's like our, our main set piece right here at the Knights of Horror. So very yeah. big, uh, very big favorite of ours. All the classic monsters, great. The Shining, great. We love it all. Um, Lauren, it's been an amazing time talking to you and talking origins. Um, any final words for anyone out there who is watching? I mean, it's been an amazing time. Um, I I guess like thank you so much for everyone that came like last year, and like thanks for like having me. Um, I don't know. I guess thank you for coming if you came or watching on like um on knots like on like the YouTube videos or whatever. Yeah. But like yeah, I just want to say thanks, and I had a like really awesome time. Like it it was like probably one of the most memorable seasons I've ever had, and. Oh, there was a lot of work that went through it to um, Origins. Like, it was so detailed, and it was the whole story behind Ghost Town. And I, I don't know if, like, not. So I guess just want to say thanks. Yeah, yeah, awesome. Yeah. No, it was a fantastic year last year. Uh, me and Sammy, I, I know me and Sammy had an amazing time last year. So we look forward to hopefully this year. Uh, and we can't wait to uh, not only see you out there, uh, kicking ass every night, but yeah. all the other scare actors coming out and bringing it, bringing their all to the game this year. It might be a very different and and new haunt season that we've not seen in the past because of the virus. But um, I think that will be 
that will arise a challenge on on scaring too. So I think that would be really fun to see uh, if yeah. we do get the haunt season this year. Um, so Lauren, we look forward to seeing you uh, at the event this year, um, and we can't wait to go back and just see everyone do their thing. Um, yeah. Thank you so much for bringing Sarah Marshall to life, one of our favorite yeah. our favorite witches. We love it so much, and uh, we can't wait to see you guys all out there again. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it whenever that, like, hopefully, it'll, whenever it'll be, like, either this year or another year. But, yeah, thank you. Definitely. No, thank you. Uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it today for the Milestar Podcast with Lauren, a.k.a. the flying Sarah Marshall in Origins. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and tuning into this episode. Um, leave some comments below for Lauren so she can read them. Some nice comments, uh, maybe a thank you or something. How, whatever you guys want to uh, leave below, just stay positive, especially with times going tough right now. We want to keep everybody positive. That is why we're creating the content we're creating, to build a platform of positivity. That way you can put aside all the bullshit that maybe be going on in your life, and you can come here and just enjoy these podcasts. So thank you guys so much for the constant support. Uh, leave some likes. Uh, if you guys are new to the channel, please subscribe and hit that bell notification. Be aware every time I put up a new video. Um, and, yeah, we will see you guys soon for another episode. Thank you, Lauren, again. Uh, thank thank you. you so much. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs>